Scorpio. You need to know this right now for February the 19th through February the 20th, 2024. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Scorpio for February the 19th through February the 20th, 2024. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Scorpio for February the 19th through February the 20th, 2024. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Scorpio for February the 19th through February the 20th, 2024. Show me. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. So... Scorpio, Scorpio, these are your cards, honey. So, Scorpio, you have justice. Could be dealing with a Libra, but you may be calling for karmic justice, saying, you know what? I'm a good person. I put good out there. I'm just expecting that good to return to me. Or you're saying that someone did me so wrong and so dirty, I'm calling for karmic justice. I want them to get exactly what they deserve. Or you're dealing with something in the justice system. So Scorpio, could be dealing with a Libra, but you can tell me that, hey, something isn't fair, something isn't balanced, something isn't just. You can tell me that someone wants to come in and right a wrong and bring justice to a situation. Or you're dealing with something in the justice system. Clarify justice for Scorpio. Clarify justice for Scorpio. Clarify justice for Scorpio. It is clarified with death. This is you, Scorpio, but death symbolizes to end something, only to begin something new. Death symbolizes transformation, rebirth. So, Scorpio, this is you. Clarify death for Scorpio. Clarify death for Scorpio. What about Scorpio? What about Scorpio? Clarify death for Scorpio. It is clarified with the three of wands. Aries, Leora, Sag. This is you waiting. Waiting for your ships to come in. Waiting for what you set your intentions towards to manifest. Now this is also a card of you looking to see what else is out there. Looking to expand. So Scorpio, you can tell me that you're waiting. You can tell me that your ships are here. You can tell me that you're looking to see what else is out there. Looking to expand or even travel. Now Scorpio, you can tell me that your ships are here. You're finally getting your just due. You can tell me that you're waiting on your justice here, Scorpio. Scorpio, you can tell me that something wasn't fair, balanced, or just, and you're ending things, and you're looking to see what else is out there. Scorpio, you have the four of wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is the structure, the foundation of a solid, stable, committed relationship. This is leveling up the relationship. This is the marriage ceremony card. Now, we could be speaking of a celebration, a birthday party, anniversary party, baby shower, the home. But this is the marriage ceremony card. So, Scorpio, this can be about your foundation, your stability. This can be about commitment, marriage, leveling up. This can be a ceremony, celebration, or even property. Okay, we'll see. Clarify the four of wands for Scorpio. Clarify the four of wands for Scorpio. Clarify the four of wands for Scorpio. It is clarified with the star. Could be dealing with an Aquarius, but the star symbolizes having hope, having faith, healing, getting your wish, being divinely guided, following your destiny. 
So Scorpio, could be dealing with an Aquarius, but you can tell me that you're getting your wish, following your destiny. You can tell me that you need to heal individually on your own, or you're holding out hope and faith that you guys can heal things, mend things, work things out, and reconcile. Clarify the star for Scorpio. Clarify the star for Scorpio. Clarify the star for Scorpio. It is clarified with the Wheel of Fortune. This is divine timing at play. This is the karmic wheel of destiny. This is a faded event. This is change in your luck and fortune. Well, this wheel can spin and you can have good luck and fortune. Or this wheel can spin the other way and things can get a little rocky for you. So Scorpio, you can tell me that everything between you guys has changed. You can tell me it's an actual change in your luck and fortune. Or this is about divine timing. Destiny, destiny here. Clarify the wheel of fortune for Scorpio. Clarify the wheel of fortune for Scorpio. Clarify the wheel of fortune for Scorpio. It is clarified with the page of pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is news or a message about a solid, stable, committed offer. Now, this can be the news about an offer for an invite out for dinner and a movie. This can be about making things more committed. This can be about a lump sum of money, a job offer, a raise, a promotion, a bonus, a high ticket item purchase, a new home, a new car, a token of love, a gift, anything of value. This is the news or message of it. So Scorpio, some type of news about practicality, money, assets, resources, property, accepting a gift, giving a gift, going out on a date, or commitment. Clarify the page of pentacles for Scorpio. Clarify the page of pentacles for Scorpio. Clarify the page of pentacles for Scorpio. It is clarified with the seven of cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is having many options, but all of these options aren't viable. Now, this can speak to confusion, wishful thinking, fantasy, illusions, but having many options. So, Scorpio, you can tell me that you're all up in your head fantasizing here. You can tell me there's some confusion. You can tell me that you need to make a choice. You can tell me that there was lies and illusions or the fact that someone had other options and explored some of those other options. Scorpio, listen, you can tell me that you're getting your wish here, Scorpio. It could be an actual change in your luck and fortune. You're receiving this news about practicality, your financial stability, and you're fantasizing, I don't know, about a home, a house, a property. I don't know what it is, Scorpio, because your ships may be here. Finally getting your just due. Scorpio, there could be some type of change or transformation taking place here, Scorpio, concerning commitment. And you could be fantasizing about it or in your head about it, Scorpio. Scorpio, you could also tell me that everything between you guys has changed and you guys has already established commitment and you're just wanting to go it alone, Scorpio, because of some type of lies or illusions or the fact that someone had other options. So my object here is to figure out whether or not you're ending things or are you transforming things going to a new level here, Scorpio? Is this about your coins and your financial stability or about commitment here? Scorpio, you have the five of pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is you feeling neglected, abandoned, excluded, left out in the cold. This can speak to financial lack and poverty consciousness. This could be a breakup. So Scorpio, you can tell me that something is going on financially, some type of financial lack, or this is a breakup. Clarify the five of pentacles for Scorpio. Clarify the five of pentacles for Scorpio. Oh my God, please no. Clarify the five of pentacles for Scorpio. Listen, Scorpio, I already told you in readings prior. <laughs> I, I, 
It is clarified with the Five of Pentacles. Yeah. Scorpio, you can tell me that, yes, there was some type of financial lack going on here, Scorpio. But, like I said, you can tell me you're getting your just due here, okay? Something is changing or transforming with your finances and your financial stability. And you're, like, looking at all of your choices here, all of your options here, Scorpio. It just seems like this is a thing of a, the past here. But, Scorpio, you could also tell me that there was some type of breakup. Now... What I was referring to when I said from readings of the past, for the past couple of months, Scorpio, or weeks, I would say, is that you're having to let something go because something new and promising is here for you, Scorpio. So are you ending things and ready to explore here, Scorpio? But the thing is, the person that you're ready to explore with, like I said in other readings, that this person will take you from zero to 100 in no time flat. You may end up exploring something at the justice of the peace with this person. But it has to be some type of breakup first. Or a letting go of something first. Scorpio, you have the two of pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is juggling. Now, this could be juggling two ideas. Should I, shouldn't I? Will I, won't I? This could be you managing many things at once. Weighing up the pros and the cons. Or juggling two relationships. Now, Scorpio, you could tell me that you're weighing things up trying to decide should you, shouldn't you? Or you're telling me that juggling has taken place here. Clarify the two of pentacles. For Scorpio, clarify the two of pentacles. For Scorpio, clarify the two of pentacles. For Scorpio, it is clarified with the high priestess. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is she who knows. She who knows. This is the keeper of the hidden secrets. Keeper of the hidden knowledge. The universe is calling for you to use your intuition. But you may know something that you're keeping to yourself. Now, the high priestess keeps silent, so it's a good chance that you guys aren't speaking to one another. So, Scorpio, you can tell me that you guys aren't speaking. You can tell me that you're using your intuition or you have a secret. Clarify the high priestess for Scorpio. Clarify the high priestess for Scorpio. Clarify the high priestess for Scorpio. It is clarified with the lovers. Could be dealing with a Gemini, but the lover says, you know, I breathe you in, you breathe me in. We are so magnetically attracted to one another. We cannot get enough of one another. Babe, I need to make a choice. So Scorpio could be dealing with a Gemini, but you can tell me that you guys have the strong twin flame magnetic pull. You can tell me there's another other lover, but the lovers could also be a partnership with work or business. Where are the lovers? For Scorpio, clarify the lovers. For Scorpio, clarify the lovers. For Scorpio, it is clarified with the nine of wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is you being guarded and standing your ground. You have a stance. You meant what you said. You said what you meant. You're not willing to bend, concede, meet halfway, out of out, or anything. But this is also a card of you saying, you know what, I'm tired, I'm wounded, I'm down for the count, but I still have a little fight in me left. I'm not giving up, being persistent. But this is also a card of you having your walls up, your guards up. You're not trusting, a little suspicious, a little paranoid here. Now, Scorpio, you can tell me that you're highly suspicious. You have your guard up, you don't trust. You can tell me that you're guarding something. You can tell me that you're going to be persistent or you're standing your ground. Now, Scorpio, you can tell me that you are keeping something close to your chest here, some type of secret about you having this pull. There's a strong pull with someone, Scorpio. But, Scorpio, because I want to, this sentence makes me feel like this is the straw that breaks the camel's back. 
This is like the nail in the coffin. This is the aha moment of what you needed to discover so that you can move on. Because for the longest time, it's like you were hesitating to make a move towards something promising for you, Scorpio. So you can tell me that, you know what, I'm using my intuition. I'm highly suspicious here. I don't trust this person. They were juggling. They had another other lover. And so you feel like you know you're well within your rights to end things and look to see what else is out there. But I, I, you don't even know how monumental that is, Scorpio. You don't even know how monumental that is. Because <clears throat> like ending things with this person is like jumping timelines or jumping dimensions here, Scorpio. Because it's like a whole new world. You're in something and there's a whole new world here for you, Scorpio. Scorpio, you have the Six of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is someone from your past. Flashback from the past. Full-fledged in the flesh. Someone from your past is back. Now, you can be reminiscing on someone from your past, remembering someone from your past, but something or someone from the past is being revisited. This is twin flame energy. This is reconciliation energy. So Scorpio, you can tell me that you're having feelings of nostalgia, wanting to reunite with this person from your past. You can tell me that someone from their past is in the picture. Someone from your past is in the picture. Something from the past is being brought back up here. Or this involves children. Clarify the Six of Cups for Scorpio. Clarify the Six of Cups for Scorpio. Clarify the Six of Cups for Scorpio. It is clarified with the Eight of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is walking away from people, places, and things that no longer serve you. This is you detaching emotionally, feeling emotionally drained, and just walking away from people, places, and things that no longer serve you. So Scorpio, you can tell me that you're walking away detaching emotionally. But when we're dealing with the Eight of Cups, this is someone who's leaving in search of their Nine of Cups, their wish fulfillment. And oftentimes they find that the grass is not greener on the other side, so they end up returning. So you could be walking away or returning. Scorpio, listen to me. Listen to me. Because what I'm about to say may be a little tricky here. <laughs> it may be a little tricky. Scorpio. Okay. Let me. The only way I can. The only way to get through this is to walk you through it. Okay, Scorpio. Scorpio. You must understand what I'm about to say. You have. Two people in your life that are from the distant past. They both are. But the one that you, and I'm not going to say currently, you're currently with. I'm not going to say currently. I'm going to say the one that you just finished touching bases with. You're walking away from this person and you're making them a thing of the past because I feel like you got the straw that broke the camel's back, discovering that they have someone else that's in the picture here, Scorpio, that they're dealing with someone else. And so you're breaking up with this person. And it shows me here that it was two breakups here, Scorpio. And so the person that is in your distant past, because both were, but you got back with the one that you just touched bases with. So that person is double past. But the person who is in the distant past, who's only, who has not touched down yet, who is trying to touch down, is trying to take you into a whole new dimension of something more promising, Scorpio. So when I look at the Six of Cups and the Eight of Cups, I feel like you're walking away from your past, the person who you just touched down with, 
who you found out that they had another other lover. You're walking away from that. But you're also with the Eight of Cups returning to someone from your past who was a distant past, who is who hasn't had a chance to touch down yet, who is actually trying to touch down with something promising and more committed. I feel like it took an act of nature. It took a tsunami. It took a himajima situation to go on over here, Scorpio. For you to walk away from this person who you just touched down with, who you're making a thing of the past two times over. I hope you guys are following me. I'm following me, but that doesn't matter. I hope you guys are following me, Scorpio. Because I keep telling you in your reads, if you check the last maybe five, six reads here for you, Scorpio, there's someone who wants to have it all with you. Someone who wants to treat you and do the things for you that you deserve to have and to be and to feel and to know and to experience, Scorpio. It's just that I think that you were fixated and you were determined to make something work because you had feelings of nostalgia and you thought that you could uh, go to distance maybe with this person that you recently reunited with and make it work. But then you're discovering that they are still young. <laughs> that they're immature, that they're not on their, on your level at all, Scorpio. And you can't raise a man. You don't have the energy for it. Even if you did, you wouldn't do it. I, I need you to come to me all the way ready, all the way made, all the way whole. Because I don't have time for that. Like, I'm not about to raise my children, then turn around and raise a man too. No, Scorpio. And I feel like you gave it your best effort, but in spite of your best efforts, it just didn't happen. But then there's someone else from your past. From the distant, distant, like distant past. Who is returning. And this particular person. This particular person has fire heavy in their chart. Because they make stuff happen. They make stuff happen. They move. Okay. They take charge and they move. And you know that. And that's what scares you about that person is because they're going to take you from like, it's just going to, it's going to just, it's going to shake stuff up for you, Scorpio. It's going to take you out of your comfort zone, but that doesn't mean it's bad. It's just that you're just, you're just like, you like routine and you just like what you like Scorpio but that doesn't mean that it's a bad thing okay and I hope this is the last reading that I read concerning you holding on to a fiber of a string of a relationship with someone because you just want to see it pan out I hope you go ahead and step into this new dimension with this person, Scorpio. And let go of all preconceived ideas of whatever this person put you through or what you put them through in the past of it resurfacing. Because people grow, people change, people transform. And I know that this person that who recently touched down, who you're walking away from, finally, this person may put a bitter taste in your mouth for other people. But I want to encourage you to not use the phrase that they're all the same because they're not, okay? Even though you've seen it a lot, you experience it a lot, and if it quacks like a duck, looks like a duck, the shit is a duck, right? But Scorpio, you don't even know eyes have not seen ears not have not heard what is being prepared for you and i don't want you to miss out on this 
this may be the best chapter of your life. Don't let this person who you're walking away from stop you from returning to this person and having it all, Scorpio. Don't let that happen. I'm going to take a look at a situation ship for you, Scorpio. Now, this is just additional messages here. <laughs> My brain, when you're going to stop fucking around with people from your past? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Unconditional, genuine, certain love. Unconditional, genuine, certain love over here, Scorpio. What else for Scorpio? You're between two worlds, Scorpio. It's where you want to be, though. It's wherever you want to be. Entrapment, pregnancy, money, heartstrings. Entrapment, pregnancy, money, heartstrings. Oh. Don't let someone trap you. Don't let the person that you're walking away from to your new adventure trap you, Scorpio, because it could happen. If you're interested in the private reading, you can reach me at it better not happen, Scorpio. I better not see it on my table. If you're interested in the private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. Scorpio, you need to know this right now for February the 19th through February the 20th, 2024. You guys, give me feedback, subscribe, like, comment, and share. And follow me on Twitter at Her Immortal Maj, M-A-J. And I'll see you guys next week. Peace.